Yeah, this is gonna be super good. All right, so obviously we're going with the Ken mirror again, you know? When you know what you're doing, Ken is definitely the best character in the game by far. Both starting out with dual reds and dual yellows. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's essentially what I would do too. Put all your yellow on the on the right and your red on the left by putting some uh, real estate in the middle. And they are moving real quick. Okay. Now you can see over here, uh, Choi Boy. He's got uh, he's got some yellow. You can still get get to building some chain. Alex Valle is cleaning up a little bit. Now we got, oh man, that is a, that is a big chunk of red. Just like some raw red all over the left. He's going for the diamond glitch and then he chains into the red. That's going to prop. Yep. That's going to seal the deal. Not enough room to get to that diamond. That's the strategy right there is that uh, if you can uh, make sure you shut them down with enough blocks at the beginning with a healthy chain and the diamond glitch, then you can make sure they don't even get to see that first diamond. Usually people are so concerned with rushing to the first diamond that uh, they don't even consider that their opponent could shut them down before they even get to see it. So we got a lot of blue. That is way more... Okay, yeah, I see what it's I was going to say he's got a lot going on in the middle. Valle is definitely a big advocate for making sure nothing's in that center column where the, where the blocks drop from. But uh, he's making sure it stays open. Anything he puts in there, he's pretty quick to destroy to make sure he doesn't get taken out by some counter blocks. Alex Valle didn't do the diamond glitch there. I think uh, his strat might be just to be moving on to the second. He might be switching up his strategies from shutting down him getting to his first diamond and then focusing on getting to his second. He is, he is all about speed right now. Oh, man. God! What a convincing first game. That's what I'm telling you guys. Strategies is a big part of Puzzle Fighter, man. He, he totally switched it up there, and uh, Joy Boy was not ready for the mix-up. Going from uh, overpowering them for the first diamond and then speeding through as many pieces as possible and making sure he doesn't even know what hit him i mean that's definitely the key in this game like Vaya was saying before is that uh speed is key almost more important than where you place your blocks speed is almost more important um if you put the difficulty all the way at max and you just start slamming blocks all over the place there's a good chance you, you'll still beat somebody that's still really decent at the game and like but taking more time to place their blocks you'll still win but you, it's a blend, obviously, between the two. It's all about speed and then also setting up your blocks as quickly as possible. But the number one priority in this game is going as fast as you can because you're getting through more blocks than your opponent. And you, you can see Alex Valle has got a few chains set up here. Looks like he uh, broke a few of them just to clean up a little bit, get some breathing room. Here's the diamond glitch. He drops it on green. And then he, yeah, see, he set up for those chains. Oh, that's going to hurt. But he still has some red to fight with, so he's not done. But he already got his diamond, so he was able to take the hit. And he's got a lot of green over there, but it doesn't look like he's going to be able to get to it yet. Choi Boy's got to be able to get to that green. And he is playing cleanup right now. Yeah, Alex Valle also is not in a great spot either, though, because he has got nothing to play with. He's got nothing but orbs and no blocks and no power gems to send over getting a little bit of red and that's where you don't really want to be is having an empty section with nothing to fight back with and Troy Boy's got a lot to work with here if he can get to that green and start cleaning up at the bottom he'll be in good shape but all those little blocks he sent over is giving Alex Valle lots of red and there goes all the red that he got he was just feeding him the entire time all those little breaks from Ken just, it's so counterproductive man all those reds so when so Ken's pattern, uh, because the bottom part is all reds, if it's all small uh, breaks and not large breaks, his pattern just like sprinkles red to your opponent, which is essentially what Dan does. So you can see he's building some healthy red over here. And that's like the worst part of being Ken is when you're in a bad spot and, uh, and you got a lot of pressure and all the blocks are at the top. You're trying to just break whatever you can to get some breathing room and, and fight back but all those little breaks are also sealing your fate because you're just giving them nothing but red and they, and they just make so many power gems like look at that he just 
Joy Boy just sent over a few counter red blocks and it's already like made a huge power gem. Alex Valle doing the diamond glitch on green and that's, ooh, that's gonna do it, man. Wow, speed running this. That's two for Alex Valle right now. Joy Boy is <laughs> looking a little disorientated, wondering what happened. <laughs> He's like, anybody got the license plate of that truck? All right, here we go. This is going to be match point for uh, Alex Valle if he wins this one. Hopefully, Choi Boy can uh, mix up his strategy or change it up here. Here comes Papa Valle. Papa Valle on the left, Choi Boy on the right. Okay, he put... Uh, interesting. He put the yellow and the red. I guess he just wants to make sure the red orbs are as far as possible from uh, the red he wants to build on the left there. And now we've got nice, healthy yellow in the middle, but you know, Alex Valle is a big advocate for not putting blocks in the middle. <laughs> oh, yep, see, he cleaned it up pretty quick. If he does put stuff in the middle, it's not there for long. And Troy Boy's got a lot to work with, but it's kind of a mess right now. He's got to clean up. And he's got that healthy yellow down there if he can get to it. He can get, he can get to that yellow power gem on the left, and now he just blocked it with those reds. And now he can get to it again here. Oh, here comes the diamond. Is he going to do the glitch? No glitch, just a raw red. And now he's... Oh, there goes that yellow. Yep, that's going to put some pressure on Valle. But he's still got some breathing room. Lots of uh, colors put together. You got lots of blue and green. So we can build some really healthy power gems. A little bit of cleanup work. Yeah, he wants to get that middle section cleaned up here. That counter block underneath that green power gem is about to, there it is. And that will give him a little bit more room. Now he's got the red in the middle. He is, Alex Valle is living on a prayer right now, looking for that diamond. Oh, that's got to be a mistake. There's no way he did not mean to have those yellow orbs touch. Oh, and he, yeah, he just went, he didn't go, he couldn't go for the glitch. Just dropped the diamond so he could get his breathing room back. And, oh no, this could really go either way. Um, yeah, there's Troy Boy's diamond. If he can do the, there's the glitch. Dropped it on the blue, he still has all that. Oh, it's gone. That's it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely crazy, man. Oh. All right, starting out with red. Yep, most people drop the red on the left side. Red is a really good gem to start uh, building upon to set up your attacks because that's what Ken drops the most of when he does small counter gems. Yeah, you drop some more red in the middle. They both got some nice red on the left side. But uh, Alex Valle also has that nice blue down there in the corner, and he set, looks like he's setting up for a few chains. He's got a yellow and a blue. That is that is a monstrous red. And here comes the diamond. What's he going to do? All right, popping the yellow. That's pretty smart. Got a few more chains going, and he's got all that red to play with. I think this is going to be it for uh, Choi Boy. If this... No, he's saving it. Wow, he wants to put it on a timer. He puts it on the counter block, let it explode on its own. Wow, smart play. Wow. Yeah. That was really clever because he put the, the red orb on the counter gym so he got a few more points. That way it hits just a little bit harder. But it was also kind of risky because Choi Boy could have actually killed him by uh, sending over those blocks, but luckily it wasn't enough to seal off the top, and that's why it's important to make sure that center column is open. And that is a good yellow down there in the right corner. Choi Boy, he's got a little bit of green and a little bit of red, but it's looking kind of messy, and he's got way too much real estate in the middle. Yeah, I, yeah, I would get rid of that green as soon as possible to make sure that you don't get shut down. Here comes Alex Valle's diamond. Does the diamond glitch. We got some healthy chains, a good three chains. All right, and now all those counter blocks are back to normal for Troy Boy. But it, it is kind of a chaos right now. He's got to clean up. I was probably, probably going to pop that green to seal the deal. Yep, and that's what I would do. Oh no, yeah, he's got no breathing room. That red should free up some of those counter blocks. Yeah, get rid of that middle column. Oh man, he is, he is really, 
really hoping that diamond comes in to save the day. Okay, now the middle's a little bit more open up, but Envaye can't quite get to those red gems, so he's got some, so Joy Boy's got some time to, like, play some cleanup. But while he's playing cleanup, he's also dropping all those little reds that are not doing him any favors. Alex Valle's already got so much red. Oh, here comes the diamond. Joy Boy's diamond's coming in. Won't be able to do the di Oh, no, he will. Diamond glitch on the red. Got a nice little section there. Oh, uh, we're going to pop that blue and seal it. Got to Come on. There it is. Let's put Choi Boy on the board. <laughs> oh, man. Watch it. Uh, watch this be another blow up. Every matchup so far has been nearly a 3-0, and then the other person comes back and wins the thing. So, I don't know. It's <laughs> You never know with this game. You really got to stay on your toes. Maybe Choi Boy is starting to sharpen up, shaking the rust off. This game is awfully clutch. You really have to make sure that you don't let the pressure get to you when the blocks start to fill up near the top. You have to keep calm and cool because that's when it's most important to make sure you don't make a mistake. That's when it's the most crucial. So it's more important to take more time when you have all your blocks at the top because it's like putting a, a block in the wrong spot when you're trying to make room and get some breathing room like that's that's the end of you that's the, that's the way you clutch it out you got to be able to have that clutch when the pressure is on yeah you can see Choi boy on the um, uh you can see Choi boy wanted to oh actually i think they switched they switch i believe alex valle is on the left and Choi Choi boy is on no he switched it all right we're good so yeah Choi boy is on the left with a big red on the left. You can see that counter gym is on three. As soon as that thing counts down to zero, that big old red is going off, whether you like it or not. And there it is. And he's got the diamond. This might kill him if he doesn't. He's got, Alex he's got to break that red. Or he's, or he's grounding. Okay, and he brought in the diamond. That was a smart move. Yep, now he's breaking the blue. Didn't quite get to that yellow as well. Now, yeah, now at this point, everyone's starting to try to build. Playing a little cleanup. Everything's a little scattered right now. Lots of green and red on Valle's side. Oh, yeah, that middle part is... Yeah, see, you want to lay it horizontally because you can break more of those counter gems. He wants some breathing room more than anything else. And it uh, looks like uh, Alex Valle's got some green over there. Oh, okay, Alex Valle's got his diamond. Oh, living on a prayer. Oh, no, couldn't do it. All right, this is match point for Alex Valle. Joy Boy needs to uh, pull something out. If he doesn't pull something out, then this is going to be uh, Alex Valle's win. All right, now we got some red stacking a lot in the middle. Joy Boy kind of plays like me, where it's too tempting to not stack in the middle. See, look at that blue in the middle. I mean, I, I couldn't help but do the same thing. But I guess instead of not stacking it and throwing it somewhere else, he would assume just go ahead and break it and send it over. It was large enough to justify sending it over, so it's not just a bunch of little red. So that was actually a pretty smart move. All right. Oh. Okay, here comes the diamond. What's the move? Diamond glitch on green. All right. All right. At this point, he's got some. Uh, Toy Boy's got some yellow to work with here, and Alex Valle is just trying to work through the counter gems he's dumped on him. That Ken uh, counter gem pattern is very hard to deal with. Oh yeah, he's in bad shape. Yep. He wants to break the red. Get some breathing room. Not quite out of the doghouse yet. Alex Valle has got to be able to do something with this mess he has over here. And here comes the diamond. All those greens this might do it. Oh. <laughs> and Alex Valle wins it. Woo, man. I wasn't sure for a second there.